this is the Z790 Nova from ASRock with a Z790 refresh chipset made for the 14th gen Intel CPU that's coming soon. Now being a beautiful board itself is one of the seven reasons why you should consider this motherboard. And then in this video, I will also highlight three improvements I can think of for this motherboard. Let's dive into the details right now with the beauty of the board. As you can see, nice glowing uh, lights on the VRM heatsink area. And then there's RGB LED at the bottom on the M.2 heatsinks. And the overall design is pretty nice. Plain, simple, black color. Point number two of why you should consider this board is that now this model being the first among ASRock board to have a toolless M.2 cover. But it's not toolless for all M.2 covers. The M.2 heatsink that has a toolless feature would be the one for the PCIe Gen 5. And all you have to do to unlock the heatsink is press the latch and you can open it up. Now if you've seen my posts over Twitter and such, I've complained about M.2 heatsinks that are difficult to um, secure. This is the one that settles the problem. All you have to do is hook it and press it in and once it latches, it's on to the motherboard. And speaking of M.2, there are a whole lot of M.2 slots on this motherboard. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and you can look at this. I recorded this and it took me a while to find six M.2 drives to mount on this one. I have a few high capacity ones, but they are with heat sinks, so I cannot use on this one. And then my other systems, they have M.2 drives, but I wouldn't be wanting to remove them to install it. So yes, I do have a stockpile of M.2 drives. So yes, a whole lot of M.2 drives that you can mount on this one. So what's the benefit of all that? After all, it's one PC, i.e. Gen 5, then the rest are all Gen 4s. Well, gone are the days where we need to rely on 3.5 inch drives and whatever with SATA data cables and SATA power cords. Now you can have all six drives on the, the motherboard, which is neat. No more cables, just cover it. Yeah, cover it with all the heat sinks. You don't even see the drives. You just have a neat looking system that accommodates those drives. Up next, we have the VRM cooling. Now, it has a 20 plus 1 plus 1 VRM, this uh, power power phase, and well, it's still lesser than Tai Chi and Tai Chi Lite, which is 24 plus something plus something, but I still like this, uh, this uh, board design. It's, um, how you say, I mean, it still has a beefy VRM, and what's the best part about this VRM is that um, I mean the VRM cooling, is that it comes with active cooling. Now, sounds weird, but never mind. Basically, there's a fan on the VRM heatsink, and yeah, I've even opened it up to have a look at it, so you can have a look at it too. If you are concerned of overclocking and such, this board got you covered with the VRM fan. Next up, this board has Wi-Fi 7. This is something I cannot test yet because I don't even have a Wi-Fi router that's of a Wi-Fi 7 setup. So let's skip on that one. Just know that it has Wi-Fi 7. Next up, one of the points that you should consider is that it now has the debug LED on the corner over here. Nice, right? Especially if you're buying this kind of board, surely you're doing some overclocking and if you're not doing overclocking, um, it's good for troubleshooting. Typically, the debug LED is at the bottom, but now it's at the top. So you can have other things around here and it will not obstruct the view of the debug LED, which is really nice. And lastly, we have the BIOS. The BIOS, besides the change of the interface, the BIOS now has a new feature and this feature will be trickled down to the older um, Astro bots as well. And what is that feature? That feature is the one that can tell you the CPU quality. Now, I do not have my 13600K with me already, nor my 12900K, nor my 12600K. I only have my 12400F. And as you can see, the 12400F's quality is not that great, at least um, based on what I see here. Nevertheless, you now, you now know that um, for the newer bots to come, you will get a 
your CPU rated by ASRock's BIOS. Now with that done, let's look at something else. There are three things that I would hope that um, there be improvement for this motherboard. First thing, let's talk about the lighting and the artwork that I see. Um, the product page is not up yet, at least at the time of this publication. And from what I saw, the artwork looks like this. And you might be led to think that the Nova text will be lighted up. But in fact, it does not light up. It is just an M.2 heatsink. And then, as you can see, there's nothing, no lighting, no LED. So if the lights are just here and here, there's no lights there. So in that, in that sense, it's not about motherboard improvement, but rather the materials provided. Next up, the power and reset buttons. While the debug LED is now at the top, the power and reset buttons are still at the bottom. Typically, you should be put having them together in the cluster, like in the past, LED, power and reset buttons are all here. So now with the LED on top, I would that the buttons be on top as well because if it's blocked, it's going to be difficult to reach. So that's one of the things that I hope that can be improved for future motherboards. And lastly, the feature about the toolless M.2 heatsink. Now it is readily, it does not secure firmly. That's the thing I don't like about this um, this uh, toolless M.2 heatsink. But I found a solution and what I did was I just used a thin ply of tissue to add some padding on the area that it hooks and the area that it clamps. So with that, I hope Asrock will do something about that. At least then we will not have a heat sink that is wobbly. Definitely one that is secure would be nice, especially we are paying good price for a motherboard like this. It would be good to have something that does not rattle. As for the price, I do not have the price of this motherboard yet, but over here in Malaysia, the price is should be about RM 1800, 1900, that comes to maybe about mm, 400 ish US. So, yeah, basically, I think this is a great board. Definitely, I like it. I mean, the whole thing, the whole package, I like it better than Tai Chi Light, that's for sure. But it's going to be costing more than the Tai Chi Light, I believe. But it costs less than the, the, full, the, 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 the main Tai Chi. So, yeah, overall quality, it kind of reminds me of like the PG Velocita range. So overall, good stuff from ASRock. Um, no 14th gen CPU to test it on yet, but definitely, I like this motherboard. And I hope you like it too. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.